The final mode of catalysis I want to talk about is Lewis acid catalysis, and this is highly analogous to Bronsted acid catalysis. Just like Bronsted acids, the purpose in life of a Lewis acid is to coordinate to a Lewis base, and in doing so, by coordinating to a Lewis base within the electrophile in a reaction, Lewis acids activate electrophiles. The Lewis acid coordinates to the electrophilic reactant, and this often introduces positive charge into the reactant, and thereby increases the electron accepting ability, or electrophilicity, of the electrophile. And this lowers the activation energy of a subsequent elementary step, and facilitates catalysis. One important aspect of Lewis acid catalysis is that the Lewis acid must dissociate from the product in a later step in the mechanism in order to restart the cycle. This is analogous to the proton transfer back to the conjugate base of the Bronsted acid in the Bronsted acid catalysis paradigm. So I'm going to keep this discussion completely general and look at a reaction between, say, a nucleophile and an electrophile to form a product in which the nucleophile and electrophile have formed a bond to each other and just let's just say this is some kind of coordination event so that the electrophile's charge has decreased by one unit and the nucleophile's charge has increased by one unit so that the uncatalyzed process is simply the donation of a pair of electrons from the nucleophile to the electrophile to form a single bond. The purpose in life of a Lewis acid catalyst is to activate the electrophile and it does so by coordinating to the electrophile at one of its basic atoms. For example, the carbonyl oxygen is a popular location. So the electrophile, through one of its basic lone pairs, coordinates to the Lewis acid, and this creates a complex between the electrophile and Lewis acid with positive charge somewhere typically within the electrophilic substrate, and the Lewis acid is now neutral. Now is a good time to note that oftentimes the Lewis acid is chiral and enantiopure, and when that occurs, this complex between the electrophile and the Lewis acid is also chiral, and this can lead to enantioselective reactions, since this chiral substrate in reaction with an achiral nucleophile is going to generate one of a pair of enantiomers selectively. From here, the nucleophile reacts with the electrophile Lewis acid complex, and in this particular case, this may involve just a simple coordination event like this. Let's just keep it at that to keep things relatively simple and general, and now we have almost the product. We have formed the nucleophile-electrophile bond, but the Lewis acid is now still coordinated to the electrophile portion of the product. To regenerate the Lewis acid catalyst and generate the product, we need to essentially decoordinate it or dissociate the Lewis acid from this intermediate. This step generates the product. Of course, it's the same product as in the uncatalyzed process, nu plus E minus, and regenerates the catalyst, here La plus. And La plus can engage with another molecule of electrophile in order to restart the cycle. So if we wanted to put together a general pattern or a general mechanism for Lewis acid catalysis, the first step is something like an A sub N elementary step, association of a nucleophile, a nucleophile within the electrophilic reactant to the Lewis acid, and this enhances the electrophilicity of the electrophile. Step two is what we've called the business, the reaction between nucleophile and electrophile that is the essence of the reaction that takes place. And then the third step is catalyst regeneration, a D sub N, the reverse of the first step decoordination or dissociation of La plus from the intermediate that results after the business. This general pattern of A sub N, the business step, and D sub N is typical of Lewis acid catalyzed reactions. And notice here as well, we saw this previously in the acid catalysis and base catalysis videos, that what the catalyst has done by coordinating to the electrophile is turned charge separation, which we definitely see in the uncatalyzed process, into charge transfer with the positive charge in the electrophile Lewis acid complex being transferred to the nucleophilic atom or group. This is a big reason why the coordination of a Lewis acid to an electrophile lowers the activation energy of a subsequent elementary step. That coordination prevents charge separation.